What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight. Tonight! Okay, hope I pronounced this name right. Uh, making their debut on the channel tonight. Tonight! <laughs> we have Otoboke Beaver. Yes, indeed. How about that? Otoboke Beaver making their debut on the channel. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined and doing all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity bibbity bob, do me a favor before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Charles, and this is actually Charles's prioritized request for the month of November for being a silver tier member on the Patreon page. So, here you go, Charles. Hope you enjoy the show, man. Uh, Charles wanted to see me react to this. It is Otoboke Beaver with a tune. Actually, there's two songs here. I'll, I'll explain how this happened. Uh, two songs here called Unacceptable and Don't Light My Fire. Now, have I heard these songs before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, these do not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard these songs in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to these songs and I suddenly go, hey, hey now, wait a second, I recognize this song, I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Okay, brief explanation. Uh, Charles did ask me if I would do these two songs together. Now, normally I'm not a big uh, proponent of that, uh, especially, using a prioritized request and getting two songs out of it. So he and I had a discussion and uh, we came to an agreement and uh, we we made it happen. So I'm fully aware, so is he. We came to an agreement, we're gonna leave it at that. And we're not gonna go into detail, okay? But uh, yeah, we, we made some magic happen. So I am doing both songs. Um, let's see, this was posted by Otoboke Beaver, okay? And the video has 117,000 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Uh... BS Fuji presents. I have absolutely no idea. Official video. Wah, wah, wah. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! Yeah, there we go, buddy. There's that word official, and it's coming off their official page, so. I'm not sure how this is going to go. I don't know how they are about blocking. Uh, I guess we're up to just wait and see what happens and hope for the best. Now, this is, from what I understand, a full show. Uh, I was told to start at 153, which is right where we're at and i'm supposed to end at 5:44. yeah so we'll see if we can hit that mark today yeah buddy we'll see about that I, i'm usually pretty good but there have been times i've missed so we'll see what happens here all right let's do this all right boy let's do this <laughs> So let's go. Oh, let's go.
私は愛の入り口ではないセクリアおとぎびば I think that was the first song. <laughs> that was fast. Um, okay. Uh, it was fast. The, the pace was fast. The tempo was fast. And the drummer played clean. The, the, the drum, I will absolutely give the credit where credit's due. The drummer played cleanly. Uh, I didn't feel like, it didn't feel to me like it dragged or rushed. It stayed right on tempo. And there was a very clear and established pattern. So good on the drummer for that. Uh, guitar playing, frantic, frantic, almost like, um, I would almost say like Nirvana ish. That's kind of what this band kind of reminds me of. Kind of reminds me of Nirvana a little bit. Some of the songs that I've heard off of like uh, the Bleach album, uh, you know, rough cut stuff, kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Sort of chaotic. But in a organized, organized chaos, in, in, it's chaotic, but in a somewhat organized way. Um, the bass playing sounded good. Guitar playing sounded good. I'm just not the biggest fan of the vocals, if I'm being honest. The vocals are just kind of, well, number one, they're very repetitive. Uh, the lead vocals were just saying the same thing. I don't know what she was saying, but she was saying the same thing over and 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 over again. It's like, okay, we get it. <laughs> you like saying whatever it is you're saying. We, we understand. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, the energy on stage, though. The stage energy and the stage presence is undeniable. Absolutely undeniable. Um, I'm just not sure how I feel about this. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sold yet. Let's, we got another song to go. Let, let's see what happens here. Changes, it's tight. Well, almost done. <laughs> and that's where I'm supposed to stop. 544. Interesting. <laughs> uh, uh, mm. <laughs> okay, well. These are confusing times. <laughs> that just happened, didn't it? Yes, it did. Ah. Uh, I need to think about this. I, I, I definitely, 
definitely need to think about this. Um, all right, let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Autoboke Beaver with Unacceptable and Don't Light My Fire. This was These were requests, two songs. These were requests from Charles. And this was actually Charles' prioritized request for the month of November for being a silver tier member on the Patreon page. So there you go, Charles. Hope you enjoyed the show. Yeah, I know it was two songs. Like I said at the beginning, Charles and I, we had a discussion, we made an arrangement, we came to an agreement, and we're just gonna leave it at that, and we made this happen. Anyway, um, I have mixed feelings about this. And I thought about it. I, I, I Guys, when I say I thought about it, I, I don't mean I just spent two or three minutes getting my thoughts together. No, no, I, I spent some serious time dwelling on this and how it was going to go and I did my best guys I could I, I did my best to look at this objectively analyze it objectively and give it the best score I possibly could and I think I'm going to surprise some people on a scale of 1 to 10 believe it or not I'm going to give that a 7.7 .7. yep 7.7 .7. i know right believe me uh that is the score i feel this these two songs deserve let me tell you why why okay i have seen some strange things on this channel i have as a matter of fact the last request that charles prioritized i don't remember the name of the group i, I try not to remember the name of the group uh, I was not a fan of that at all. It was, just, that was just, wow. <laughs> I don't even have the words to describe what that was. Um, and I know a lot of people were in agreement with me on that, but I also know there were a lot of people that were in disagreement with me on that. And that's what's the beautiful thing about music, isn't it? Is not everybody's always going to love the same things. Um, but to me, that was just absolute chaos. And I, I did not enjoy that at all. This was chaos. This was chaos, but believe it or not, it was organized chaos. There was an actual song structure. There was an actual feel. There was an actual set tempo. There was an actual pattern happening in the drums. There was some consistency in the vocals. Uh, this felt chaotic, yes, but organized chaos is the best way I think I can describe it. This, you know what this reminded me of? This, this just popped in my head. This reminds me of the Misfits, but not studio Misfits. This reminded me of live Misfits. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with live Misfits, whether you are a fan of the Misfits or not, whether you've heard the Misfits or not, and believe me, folks, you've more than likely in your lifetime, you have probably heard a Misfits song. More than likely, uh, you've heard um, Last Caress. You may have heard We Are 138. You may have heard She. I believe London Dungeon was actually used in a, in a movie, I think. Um, you've, you've heard The Misfits. I, I, I can almost guarantee you, you've heard a song for them. Now, here's the thing. And there's a big difference, a huge difference, between studio-recorded Misfits and live Misfits. And the biggest difference is this. Studio recording misfits. Number one, they are recorded at a set tempo. And that tempo usually is not super fast. That usually is it's a nice, steady, easy to listen to rocking tempo. You see the misfits live. <laughs> you hear the misfits live, and it's literally whoever the lead singer is at the time uh will call out the song. And then Jerry only, the bass player and backing vocalist, well, now he's the lead vocalist. Jerry only will literally count out as fast as he can. One, two, three, four. It's literally that fast. One, two, three, four. And then they just, they will play faster than that count out. Way faster than the studio recording is. That's kind of how this felt. This felt like everything as far as tempo was just push, 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 push as fast as you can. But at the same time, with a set song structure and a set pattern and feel within the drums. 
organized chaos i think is the best way to put this and that live comparison with live misfits i think is very appropriate um and part of me most of me actually kind of enjoyed it <laughs> i know that's weird coming from me but it's true i i actually i kind of enjoyed listening to this and i kind of enjoyed watching it i enjoyed watching it happen on stage and i, I liked how the songs developed especially the second song starting out with a little bit of a slower tempo and then kicking it up and then bringing it back down and then ending with it up again that was cool that was that was well done it was here's the thing about that too even with the tempo changes it was clean it was absolutely clean the glaze were together they were locked in bassist and drummer and guitar player were all locked in together vocals were locked in everything was super tight despite the fact that we were going at that fast tempo and we even had those sudden jerky tempo changes we still had a lot of tightness happen in there and you got to give credit for that um not the biggest fan of the vocals if i'm being honest i wasn't the biggest fan but the instrumentation was really good then I, I gotta give credit where credit's due so surprisingly shockingly uh i had a good time with this and uh, even more shockingly even more surprisingly i actually wouldn't mind seeing more from them th th this was this was entertaining so 7.7 .7, it's a really good score for what i feel was a really good video to react to so yeah 7.7 .7. um one last thing i'm gonna mention i, I know I'm, I, I'm i'm trying to think of the best way to say this without sounding like a perv but man did we get luckily <laughs> Did we get close with some of those camera shots? My goodness. Guy with the camera up front, man. He did a great job of not going too low. He kept it up right above the hems of the dresses. And it was just like, wow. If you go any lower, this, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get away with showing this video on YouTube. Um, we got close. We never saw anything. Thank God. <laughs> Otherwise, I might be getting banned. Or I would have to do some serious editing, one of the two. But uh, yeah, good work, cameraman. Uh, let, let's try to keep it not so close next time. That'd be nice. Don't give me a heart attack. I wonder if that's why some of those dudes go to those shows. <laughs> I wonder. They're all pushing to get up to the front of the stage. Hey, listen, you know, look, I'm not judging, but uh, you gotta kind of wonder about those guys sometimes. Anyway, 7.7, uh, like I said, I, I'm trying to figure out the best way to say those things without sounding like an utter and complete perv, but I, I felt like it was worth mentioning. Good work, cameraman. Seriously, good work. Anyway, 7.7, .7, I feel good with that score, and that's where we're going to stay. So, 7.7, .7, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.